the danger of provocation is very great. We need to reflect that. There is also a rising economic and political crisis. You saw Art Perlow in the Economics Commission report yesterday, which makes it more imperative that we build the all people's front. The Bush administration is hell-bent in forcing through their agenda where they can, but they are on shaky grounds. Oil prices are at record levels, and down the road, greater economic crises are predicted. We may face the attempt to impose a draft, and we will say, hell no, we won't go if that happens. <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> I, I got a shortage of time here. <laughs> uh, Big layoffs are happening and more are predicted. The private pension and medical care coverage of millions of workers are now in jeopardy. Poverty, unemployment, homelessness, and hunger are growing in this land. <clears throat> we need community-based movements to struggle in this regard. This is a time which calls for high levels of broad, mass, united action by labor and people's forces. With unity, Bush policies can be isolated and defeated in this period. In light of this possible sh uh, split in the AFL-CIO, I think the resolution must say, uh, must speak out against that and a call for greater union. The people must intervene to end the war and change the Congress in 2006, which will make it possible to change the whole political direction of the country. Uh, we want to more sharply reflect this in the re resolution. Uh, Next section, pre-convention for new people's offensive. One minute, my God. I think that uh, things are changing rapidly. Important sections of the left and Democratic Party have gotten more aggressive and moving more to, to the left. Conyers, the Downing Street menu, um, memo, uh, the U.S. troops out of Iraq now, coalition in Congress, 60 members so far. These, these are the preconditions for people's offensive. The CBTU is calling for going back to Gary for a new black political convention, this time labor-led. And, uh, yeah, this is great. And they recognize the need to, read and to build an independent base from which to pressure for a more militant fight back against uh, Bush. The Vieira Grosso election in L.A. shows the growth and maturity of black, brown, and white unity. And, again, the precondition for uh, a, a, a uh, offensive. Things are changing, but we think uh, they are moving towards this offensive. Um, let me skip along. This will be made available to folks. I think I'll try to get the essence. Um, the resolution must say more about the uh, centrality of the fight against racism today. Sands' report is a real contribution to this, to our party's understanding. The Bush attack against black and Latino people especially, can only be described as a new racist offensive. The extent of growing poverty, unemployment, homelessness is reason for emergency action. Um, Sam described Bush as uh, a racist based on his policies, and I think we have to say that and act on that even more. You know, uh, Sandra Day O'Connor, if you have heard, has uh, decided to resign from the Supreme Court. Believe it or not, as bad as you are, she was a moderating force on that court. And we, we face the danger of this court moving even further to the right and for decades and decades of a court handing down decisions that will stifle democracy, stifle civil rights, labor rights, and, and justice for the people. This is a very dangerous development. Uh, immigrants actually do contribute to our nation's economy, yet they are being criminalized and scapegoated. <clears throat> Racism is a big factor in spreading that lie. They falsely characterize affirmative action as anti-civil rights, praise Strom Thurmond, a staunch segregationist for most of his life, as the great statesman, while they demonize heroic civil rights leaders. This administration is hell-bent to move, remove ending racism and poverty from the nation's moral agenda. We have to say more on that. There's other things on the issue of racism. Faith-based initiative is really a racist program. 
Uh, ownership society is basically racist because it blames the victim. You don't own, you don't exploit or whatever, uh, then it's the, the own fault. It's your fault that if you're poor and so forth. Moving quickly. The political nature of the Democrat or the Republicans today is that they cannot win power without racist policies. The Republicans cannot win presidential elections without a suppression of the African American vote. In particular, the Republican Party has always been, has become the party of, uh, or, of uh, racist ideology. Okay, I'm moving along. The denial of basic rights to lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender people has to be placed stronger in the resolution because we have to lead a fight to move people from tolerance, which is a certain level, to active struggle against the denial of civil rights to lesbian and gay and bi bi bisexual transgender people. The last, um, last part is on party building. I know I'm a little over time. just feel I need to go through this real quickly. I think Sam, Sam's report is very much in harmony with the content of his resolution and it's the spirit and the direction in which uh, we want to, to move. Um, I, I generally want to say, though, as a, that we are really kind of the preconditions for a mass communist party, and mass communist parties have mass events. And I think we have to move this party to the point where we are a big event party, where we have festivals, where we have large mass meetings, where we aim to fill the biggest hall in town. We can't do that right away, but the key to that is to build this party from its grassroots up, from the clubs up. And his suggestion that leading comrades must become club leaders should be taken deep in our hearts. And we need to go back and make sure that that happens. And I'm so glad that Sam put it uh, that way. I want to add a point about the PWW and distribution, which, uh, again, I want to echo what Sam says. We want to put that in there. Um, and I want to say that getting comrades elected to public office is great, but our experience has been that when that happens, it doesn't necessarily translate into a mass growth for the party. We had to figure out why that is and dramatically change that. It should be that we grow rapidly once we elect someone to public office. In fact, quite often we don't grow at all. How to analyze, how to come up with answers to that. Um, then I think the resolution must salute the Young Communist League. It is not in there now. <laughs> We have to support and help to build the YCL. We need a mass YCL. Actually, historically, we should have a mass YCL before we have a mass part. That's the way it's been going. It is clear that districts that have active party-supported YCL branches have a reliable and steady pace of party recruitment. Build the YCL. Build the party. This presentation uh, should be seen as a basis for the changes in the political direction, strengthening of the new of, and building of a new draft. We are asking for the approval of this report as a basis of, for strengthening and modifying the old draft. We have to see it in relationship to the old draft. My assumption is that you read it and you see where we're kind of tweaking it and strengthening it in different areas. We will have a, a discussion here and a vote uh, also. Uh, at the end, if there are any amendments or whatever on the draft. Um, the final draft, the, fi the drafting committee shall continue its work, and the final draft reflecting these remarks and the uh, draft resolution, I said, will be referred to the incoming national committee for its approval. Um, that's pretty much it. Again, I say that the banner of the party is in.